I'm here at the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And outside of the conference, the host countries organize a radio communication exhibition. And we're going to go and visit one of the stands at the Radio Communication Exhibition, and it's the Rodra and Schwartz stand, a long-standing industry member of ITUs. And I'm very pleased to be joined by two of the people here from Rodra and Schwartz, which is uh, Kirsten Jutner, uh, who uh, has been a familiar face uh, with ITU for many years as the focal point uh, uh, for ITU, and also with Uwe Bader, who, who as well is, is a very familiar face. And uh, I've, we've talked to many times at, at different uh, um, events around the globe. Um, so perhaps, Kirsten, I could just start off by asking you, why are Rodra and Schwartz here? Why is it important to be here at the World Radio Communication Conference? Yes, first of all, thank you so much. Uh, yes, very important for us as Roland Schwartz Science. We are very interested also, of course, in frequencies, which we uh, have to also take care of because of new technologies, but also of the audience, which we can reach out here. So it's a very important uh, event for us to, um, to get connected and to show, of course, our very good and newest technologies of Roland Schwartz. Thank you. And, and we're, we're not just uh, standing next to this chap here with the hat uh, uh, for no reason. He's actually showing off some of your technology here. Uwe, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, what technology we have here and how this can help the planet. Yeah, we were focusing on the exhibition here, what is of relevance for ITU in a wider sense for regulators, but also maybe topics that touch the agenda items from the WRC. So what you can here see is a spectrum monitoring equipment. So basically something you would start with when you are, uh, so to say, uh, gearing up your uh, equipment to be a good regulator to do spectrum monitoring. So that is a handheld uh, monitoring receiver with the uh, antenna to hunt down interferences mainly. Okay, and, and you've actually tested it out at, uh, at some events, is that right? And, and, that's and right. Yeah, that's, that's right. We, um, that was actually an anecdote from the uh, WSC 19 in Egypt, where we had a lot of uh, Wi-Fi hotspots in the main meeting room because, you know, some operator gave some free SIM cards and everybody was putting into their phones and had tethering on. So the main Wi-Fi of the meeting was not functional anymore. So the regulator at that time used this equipment to hunt down the interferences, to hunt down the tethering hotspots and ask the people to switch switch it off to make the WRC going again. And can you pick up this, um, this paddle here and tell us what, how, it, how it works? Yeah, sure. I mean, this is somehow connected to it. Just open it. So this guy is holding it. So this is a directional antenna and you basically do a triangulation of hunting down the uh, emitter. For example, we do also trainings for the uh, ITU, for the D sector. So we are part of the academy there. And beside the uh, theoretical teaching and theoretical lessons, we also have always a practical lessons. So we hide a transmitter on our premises and then we ask the participants to find it, to hunt it down. So that's actually the, the real life of a regulator and they have a lot of fun with this equipment, running around and searching for it and, you know, finding it at the end and maybe get the prize. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there you go. It's very visual. So let's perhaps walk around the uh, the, the stand here and, uh, and Kirsten, while we're doing that, maybe you could just tell me a little bit about how you've been involved with Roder and Schwartz and, and, and your, your your, uh, essentially your, your cooperation with ITU and why that's, why that's uh, been quite a long-standing relationship. Well, we uh, work more than 50 years now together with ITU, I would say even almost 60 years, so from the very beginning. And uh, we are full sector member with ITU, means we work with the standardization sector, development sector, and also with the radio communication sector. And we cooperate with the ITU Academy very closely together in terms of uh, workshops with spectrum monitoring, spectrum management, but also we cooperate with certain uh, study groups like uh, quality of services, which is study group 12 and standardization sector. So we really want to bring forward and push forward also the capacity building and to support the ITU and of course to show our commitment to the ITU. Great. So what have we got here actually? This is very impressive. Uh, there's a, a mobile phone that seems to be uh, showing all sorts of uh, yes. broadcast images here and, and, a, and a great big box here. What, what, how does this work? Yeah, this is our uh, broadcast transmitter 
So besides the test and measurement and uh, spectrum monitoring, we are also manufacturer of broadcast equipment. And here we have our new technology, 5G broadcast, which basically brings the uh, broadcast world onto the mobile phones. So free to air broadcast delivery can be um, so done in um, well in a in a um, fashion that it's um, very efficient if you have one too many distribution of media content um, we also have the possibility to initiate warning uh, messages like you see it here it's warning for all i think also in a, an initiative that is um, well um, inside the itu activities Excellent. I mean, I had one the other day, actually, when it was raining a lot here. So, uh, uh, so that, that's uh, and this is specifically tied to to one phone manufacturer at the moment. Is that right? Or no, this can be basically implemented by all phone manufacturers. It's, built, it's so the the technology is standardized inside 3GPP. So this is an open standardization fora, which basically all mobile phones are working on. So I don't see any limitation that it cannot be on any mobile phone in the future. Okay. That's, that's brilliant. And. Um, Kirsten, I've got to ask you because we are in a field that is predominantly dominated by men here. I guess it's coming. <laughs> so I just really wanted to ask you, there's been a big push for gender parity here, for more women to be involved in the technological and radio communication sector. How do you think that's advancing? Well, I have to say I work with ITU now since 2008. And what I experience is a big change that a lot of women come into delegations and they keep up the work now. And I, I know about the network of women, I'm aware of it within ITU. And uh, for myself, I never had a problem or issue, but uh, I understand, of course, the position to say we need more women in this kind of field, women in ICTs, girls in ICT. But I still also believe it's a long way to go because it doesn't start just when you started a job, it starts way earlier before. And I also like to say that it's, uh, of course, always important that we have the men's to support the women's, but also the women's have to support the women's. So that's what I, yes, would like to to say about this. No, fair enough. And, and Uwe, finally, we hear it's a very, very long conference. Yes. You're taking the time to be here. So obviously it's worthwhile your presence here. Uh, absolutely. So uh, this is really a place where we can engage with a lot of people out of the ecosystem of uh, regulators, but also we have network operators, we have broadcasters, uh, we are talking also on device homologation. So for example, that's testing of mobile devices, that they are efficient in the network. So what is the best network if you have a phone which does not perform well? So then you can build the best network of the world, but you will never experience it. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, to join us in this this interview, and uh, we hope you get a lot of people can come to the stand here, and, and I'm sure we'll see each other at uh, another ITU event very shortly. Thank you very yes, much. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you for the time. Thank you very much. And so do tune into our ITU YouTube channel for more interviews, which we've got happening in the studio, and uh, from us uh, here at uh, the World Radio Communication Conference. Uh, that's all for now. But uh, thanks for tuning in.